Hey guys, it's Tom, and I'm back with another Raiding Climb video. I have the goal of reaching 2000 on chess.com, and I'm going to play a rapid game, analyze it. I hope you enjoy. I'm currently rated 1606, so we'll see if we can find an opponent. So let's uh, get a uh, search in here. I was, I, I played some games uh, off screen yesterday to get my rating back up to like 1590, what was it, 1597, something like that. Um, and I was, I wanted to get 1600 on camera and, but some, I got points refunded cause I, someone cheated against me. So let's actually, um, get some music going, but, uh, yeah. So unfortunately, uh, not able to, get 1600 on camera. So let's play the Karo Khan. We have a 1608, so both of us fighting to stay above 1600, it appears. So actually, let's go this. from Denmark. Okay. As we trade bishops here. So I do have this move. Let's check to collect the pawn, but that develops his knife. On. I kind of like doing this, getting my knight over here, potentially. Let's do that first. I'm not really hung up about getting this pawn back right now. So it looks like they want to meet with the check with uh, B4. Or B4 right now. Interesting. So opponent is... Allowing this check, because it takes... Can't take back. I guess I'll give it, right? But you can go, hang on a second, go here. So if I go takes, push, takes, he has this. Then I just take here. And then you can go here. And I just take there. I think we're chilling. So opponent should have played the knight here to too many pawn moves. I, I don't know, this isn't like that bad, but it's not good.
Oh, my knight. Duh. I was stupid for doing this. Then I got this check, so we'll give up the knight for three. Um, oh, I don't even have that check. This is dumb. But I do win the rook, right? Am I just crazy? What is going on here? Tripping. I think I win the rook, but my queen is like <laughs> in the corner. explosions in the sky by the way this band so I'm really hoping that they don't um, copyright strike my videos I don't know much about that so we'll see this video might get taken down so that seems worse um, than moving your king but now this comes with a check what is this um, where, so I have to move my queen, certainly, because, I mean, I don't know what I'm doing with my queen if I don't get it out of there. Although, having a queen keeping this knight from developing is not the worst thing in the world. Maybe even, like, a move like g6 is warranted, because what do they do? How do they trap my queen in there? They don't have any light square bishop. This move is not coming anytime soon. Let's play g6 because then I have this weird check. I have this weird check here. And I can castle. Opponent's best move is probably going back with the queen and trying to trade queens. In that case, I do think I do this check, because if he blocks here, I take, take, queen comes out with a check, and I win this pawn. This whole thing is looking pretty bad for the opponent. I have a nice little tidy uh, pawn structure. Opponent has this slightly overextended pawn chain and no development. Well, king is developed to d2. Might still lose this game. I'm I'm talking objectively, you know, trying to be objective about the position and like, okay, what is this? What is this? Sorry about that. What is this? Uh, position require, what, what should I do, and objectively speaking, I think if you plug this into the computer, it's, I know I'm plus three in material, this is probably like plus six, or minus six, because I'm black, but, so that's what I would guess, now, um, that doesn't mean I still can't mess up a good position. So we'll see what opponent has in mind. Seems to be frozen with fear. Oh, okay. So, so sure we can do that. This here. I can just develop my bishop. There's nothing really. What is his goal? He could get in right here if I don't develop my bishop to that square. He also has eyes on h7, but no way to take advantage of that. So the question is, do I have a better move? So a move like this comes to mind just simply because 
it attacks. Uh, it doesn't actually attack the bishop. Let's just do this. Let's keep it simple. Keep it simple. The opponent might be trying to... Well, actually, I don't know what they're trying to do. Let me go back. The queen was... Yeah, at, at the very least, if they would, if they had like swung their queen or queen over this way, it did allow this check. But it allowed them to develop. Well, they can't develop the knight until they move their king. Hmm. I was thinking like if they could protect this rook somehow. Like if it actually, oh, that doesn't work either. Now it does. They can go here. Alright. So here is an option. Pinning the undefended bishop to the king. Seems like a good option actually. Now you gotta move your knight again. If I get castled, I mean it's just over. move which threatens this check I think I need to do that because I also need to somehow and this also threatens this rook indirectly I can also take here and the rook has to move then what do I do I just take another piece I like this move better It allows me to get my queen out. If I go here, does this trap my queen? That's the question. Might have to play this move. have to play this move. I need to get my queen way back here. You will not trap my queen, sir. Does that work? No. I get this check. It's my beautiful knight. If queen takes, I might even do something like this. And then if king, and if I, oh, that doesn't work. Yeah, I see this doesn't work. Just check here and collect the queen. Is that the best move? I don't know, but it's necessary it seems. If opponent doesn't have a queen, 
I can check here, but that does, oh, yeah, yeah, can't check here now, but they can check there in a moment. Which I think would be a mistake. after I move my king. I would have this check discovering the attack on the rook if you take this pawn. So your your knight being there doesn't really help. Question is, do I go here? I think so, because if I can trade another piece, why not? Let's remove this. So my only concern is this this pawn chain on the the king side. He's got to trade bishops because I have this nasty check to win in the rook. But maybe he doesn't see it. Um, if he goes back or something, that's it's very tempting to want to go back because you want to keep your your pieces. Okay, so do I do I not take with the knight? I could take with the king, and I'm still attacking this pawn. Then he's got this check. Let's take with the knight. Now you can have your pawn. What is this? You're gonna let me, uh... You're gonna let me defend my pawn? So... The issue is he's got double pressure on f7 currently. And this knight can come in. If I take the knight, takes with the rook here. So that's one issue. The other issue is my pawn is hanging. Is there a way to solve both of those things? Not really. Um, could I... I'm just gonna defend f7. The pawn is fine. This pawn, I mean. I don't think that's that big of a deal to lose that pawn right now. So I have this move, which threatens this check. Um, to eventually, if he ever pushes this pawn, maybe. Just looking at some moves here. Gotta keep things nice and tidy. Yeah. I think this is the move here. Oh wow. When it finds that move. Looking to fork me. I will not be forked. 
It's a difficult fork to deal with if you're not smart. Uh, so the issue is also this on push. I, I bring the other rook over now. I could have went there, but then it um my knight over here. Might have to sack the exchange, um, or just go back. Going back does allow this knight to come here. Knights are all up in my business. This is kind of ridiculous, honestly. Um, His knights are just smothering me. He's finding like all these amazing moves like out of nowhere. So all of a sudden, opponent's a GM. Yeah, naturally. Naturally, you uh, you got this. Yes. Right. So I think we need to push this pawn and break up this pawn chain here. Do I need my, my uh, rook down here? I don't think so. Haha, I got you. Yes. Gosh, my opponent found some amazing moves <laughs> there that I missed. Uh, so I'm thankful that this worked out in my favor here. All right. So the opening was a disaster for my opponent, I think. Like I said, I think I was, I put that one position at minus six. And the issue is that he pushed like a bunch of pawns without actually, like it's already minus 1.2. That, of course, now we know this is the mistake. This is a mistake here in view of this move. And I saw that, but I I've, um, totally forgot that my knight was hanging. So I saw check, and then he blocks, and I go here, and he goes here, and I go here. But my knight is hanging. And luckily, he blundered back. But let's see here. This was all fine. I needed to, compl I needed to just start undermining the pawn structure immediately, apparently. 
what happens if he goes here? Maybe I just go back with my knight and say, what are you doing with your pawns? These are so weak. Okay. Well, I don't know that I would play that way. But I would probably... If I didn't do this, I would have developed my bishop. I mean, I guess he can push b5 anyway. Like, what's, what's stopping him from just going b5 anyway? So a, a5 does make a lot of sense. Well, let's see here. Okay, yep, this was the big blunder because of this. Take here. And then... What did I say? I said this position... Where did I say that? It wasn't here, it was before this. So I had it, I was a little bit optimistic as minus five. Not minus six. But. So, and here we go. So this is actually not a good move. It's a miss. It's just because, I don't know, I think this is a good move. Rook F1 is the second best engine move. And it's as a higher... Oh, it's higher minus, so it's less good. It's still, I mean, I, I think this is a testing move because the issue is that he's attacking this pawn still. Uh, if I defend this pawn, he's got this knight move right here. And if I ignore the knight move, I'm gonna lose a knight. So I have to choose, I can't defend. So if I take here, then he's got this check. So I don't know why this is so bad. Let's say I do this. What is my best move? E5. So I needed to play E5. What does this do? B7. Oh, yeah, that's actually that's an underrated um, part of this. So I did not see that after that is. True, so after a move like so e5, right? He comes in, take, takes, up. So knight would have to take here, right? But then he loses his rook, so he's got to move his rook. And then I take his knight. And this is good. This is good for me. Look at my awesome central pawns. Um, he's just down to a rook. So that's not something I saw. Okay, so super informative here. So he takes mb7, which is the best move. I attack the rook, which is not the best move. My best move is getting my knight out of there. Okay, so I needed to move the other rook to c8. For some reason, I just thought, okay, having my two rooks on these, where these pawns are going to start marching down is going to be an asset, and the, the pressure on f7 is resolved. But I, I forget, you know, this maneuver is possible. So after I do this, or actually he didn't have to go that way. That's what he did. He went the other way. Now knight d5 is good, which is what I played. Right? Play knight d5. And then I want king d3, but what, why not this? I mean, that seems very good to me. What is the issue here? F5. So just, uh, just sacking the exchange, which is kind of what I thought maybe that you should do, or that I should do. 
Now this knight is kind of out of the game. My, my knight's looking good. He goes rookie one. I don't know why. I don't think anyone would play rookie one. Knight c4 seems like a better option. Or even king d2. Yeah, so king d3 is actually what I see. What's wrong with king d3? Even even the rook here. But probably this is this is what I would play. Preventing e5, maybe king f6, yeah. Uh, that's the next best move. And then maybe So King D2 is still on the radar, so what's what's going on here? He wants to get his So I guess the optimum place for the king to be is where all these pawns are. So that's what you want to start doing. Let's say opponent plays king d2, I play e5. Rook e1. Now there's pressure here. Rook e8. Rook d6. Rook b8. I probably would have played this. Is there an issue with this move? Certainly not as winning as something like rook f8 or b8. But why? Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. I feel like it's more tidy. My rook is defended. It's defending these two weaknesses. But let's 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 figure this out. So king d3 or b5. So it, maybe it's just because it allows b5. Yeah, so rook b8 is better because it doesn't allow b5. That's probably very relevant. And now what does he go back? Let me go e4. Knight d6 again. King e5. Yeah, king e5 looks good. I would for sure play that move. But it's in an accuracy. Wait, it didn't. It's the top move. And then it's in an accuracy. King f7 check. See? My rook was here. Oh, just. Uh, so f6. I just have to go back, I guess. It's... Okay. So. I don't know why the engine wants me to keep playing king e5. Rook d8. Now it wants me to sack the exchange for the knight. Maybe? I don't know. What about this check though? Does that not work? That's king up, right? That's the problem. Where do you go now? Yeah, that's a bad move. What about a move like a5? It's thinking, it's thinking. Hey! It likes a5. So b5 can be played, but then it allows king e6. And if this, then I can go... Here. King F6. Is it somehow still good for me. G7. Or E5. I would probably go to E5. E6. Knight F4. Okay, this is getting a little wild for me. Somehow it's so good for me. I would have had to. I guess maybe that's the problem with a5. 
The knight takes e4. Check. He wants to sack a knight. This is the best move. Okay. Certainly you can't let the rook in. Knight c3. Okay. Like that. Yeah. Anyway, so let's look at the actual game again. Okay. So white is... White was winning here. My opponent did it, man. They found a way. Yeah, I totally forgot about this fork. I should have just maybe played... Well, yeah, f5 is really the only... f5 or f6 are the only winning moves. And now, taking the pawn is the... I actually did think that taking the pawn was kind of weird, but what else do you play? All right, so I'm not looking at the engine. I mean, something like b5, you have to consider, because even though I can take on, if I take on c5, you have rook c7, um, and isn't that checkmate? So if c5, if, uh, this wasn't played, but let's say. Well, it's not checkmate. It's actually it was a knight. What am I seeing? Okay. So it says a7. You gotta take the a pawn, not the h pawn. Now knight f4 check is like the best move, and it's plus five. Yeah, this would have been a disaster. Opponent takes the other way. So I saw this fork immediately at right, you know, right here. And I was hoping that he would go up and take this pawn. So I was like, oh, let's just pretend like I don't know what I'm doing here. Take, take, get rid of his pawns and then give this che devastating check. And now it's minus six again. So all this is right in the world. So yeah, um, opponent, I mean, played like out of his mind here. These knights, they can be so tricky. And I needed the biggest lesson here is just give up the exchange. Give up the exchange because this is too devastating. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.